Welcome to Haunted Hour. My name is Noel Boyd and I've got Indra with me. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, man, brother. Yo, how how's are you feeling, man, today? Um, really sleepy. I only slept like two hours in, like yesterday. So mm. I think you have to bring the mic close to you. <laughs> <laughs> the sleepiness is getting over you. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot about the microphone. Like yeah. the most important uh, uh, part of the show, right? The listeners like... and the viewers are dying to hear your voice, man. <laughs> dying, okay? Is this okay? Yeah, yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, I slept about two hours. Mm. Yeah, I feel... Like Groggy. zombie. Yeah. Groggy, yeah. Just going through the motion. <laughs> but we got a show to do. Well, we got to do what we got to do, man. Exactly. <laughs> okay, before we, we go on any further, we got a shout out to do. Yep. We have a shout out uh, for our sponsors. Uh, this episode is brought to you. Get a life seafood where you can get fresh live seafood, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, on their menu, you can uh, order Asari clams. Uh, they have their lovely Boston lobsters. You can either go fresh oysters, tiger prawns and mud crabs. All these are very special on the menu, man. And lots more of seafood for you to enjoy. And uh, for you to uh, take note, they only deliver on Saturday. Eh? Saturdays. And that's a good day for you all to get together as family you know, and uh, go and grab a bite, you know, with all this great seafood. And you all can place your order at www.getalifeseafood.com. Yeah, man. I, I think it's great if you're going to have family at home or yeah, bring friends uh, over to your house and then, mm. you know, you order seafood, they deliver on Saturdays. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I want to ask you, do you mm. eat chili crab now, bro? I cook, I think, the best chili crab ever. Wow, you cook the no, best. No. I, I, I'm not saying it because I want to say it. it's like friends and my wife. Yeah, that's what they I've think. I've yet to taste, man. I've yeah, maybe, maybe one day. <laughs> I'll cook for you. Maybe, I don't know. No, no, I will. Uh. No, I think your wife yeah. will be jealous uh, if you start to cook for me. No, I mean, you come over to the house. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. For the second time. And then, All right, yeah. man. Why not? Why not, man? Let's let's enjoy the feast. Or we not, or, 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 or if not, just order, man, from Get Alive Seafood. Yeah, no, no, but it's fresh. Yeah. Yeah, the, it's fresh. Yeah. So I have to cook it, right? Yeah, correct, yeah. correct, correct. So mm. that's something I can do. So I can I can order the gong gong, which they have. Oh, you, you love the gong gong, is it? Yeah. Ah. Uh, do you eat oysters? Oysters, yes, man. Mm. Yeah, mm. the oysters as well. Wow. Happenings, heavy happenings. How happenings. big How big are their, are, are their oysters, man? How big you want it to be? Oh, they got size? No. <laughs> 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 it's it's reasonable size okay oysters yeah but wow. but it's it's the best lah so guys mm. if you want to order go to www.getalifeseafood.com yeah um also like their facebook page and follow them on instagram mm, yeah we will leave the description on our video description below yeah yeah Okay, so in today's app, we're going to talk about haunted schools, right? Mm-hmm. Haunted schools in Singapore. And that is coming up right after this. I actually listen to it at work and I don't dare to listen to it before I sleep. Noel is the king of Singapore paranormal. <laughs> You're listening to Haunted Hour. Real ghost stories from real people. She could actually see, see things and that freaked her out. The minute I turned off the light, she screamed. She was like, "Ow!" The following night, the same thing happened. The music continued playing, and then I felt hair like uh, sweeping my left cheek up and down. This is your host, Noel Boyd. It's time for terrifying trivia. Yeah. Now we talk about. Old schools in Singapore, everyone has got their own story to to share, right? Mm. Um, I don't really have much of mine, but I do know, okay, my father uh, and my two brothers went to St. Joseph into St. Joseph Institution, SGI, mm. right? And it was the SGI at Bras Prasa Road. Mm. Now, it's a very old school, right? It was built in 1867. And... Before the fall of Singapore, right? I'm reading it here. Before the fall of Singapore, it was used as a Red Cross hospital. Mm. And then it became the barracks for the Japanese soldiers. This was uh, the fall of Singapore when we went through the Japanese occupation. That's where a good number of Japanese soldiers stayed. Mm. 
Wow. Right. So what they did was that they got all the the the, the brothers to leave the school and then they took over. Mm. Now some of the haunted areas in that school. Yeah. Um, and this is all hearsay, right? There's no like evidence and all. Uh. It's not documented. Uh. No, it's not mm. yet. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day. <laughs> right. So the first place we're going to talk about is the dome. Wow. Right. So that was at the top of the school. And then uh, when the Singapore Art Museum took over mm -hmm. the place, uh, they found a hidden room. Right. Okay. So they were in this room where there were cupboards and all. They removed mm -hmm. the cupboards and then they found a doorway. And this doorway led to a hidden room. So apparently now you get to see it when you visit the museum. And then people... Uh, was saying that they've seen this. So I've got a friend, his name is Mervin. Okay. Right. Uh, so Mervin is a local actor and all. He's done quite a lot of stuff. Mm. And Mervin told me that, you know, I asked him whether he had any experiences at SGI and he told me about mm. the flying turban. Flying turban? Mm -hmm. oh. So the flying turban is apparently the ghost of a sick caretaker that died in the school. So this place mm. where he used to sit, right? I to, see. to um, When he did his job, Mm. He passed away in the Z. Why he's working now? Wow. So, people have claimed to see a flying turban, and then there is the toilet, right? So it's like okay. one of those old schools where the toilet is in, like its own little building. Mm. Um, and so it's the only toilet in in the school. So whenever mm. anybody needed to use the toilet, there's only one. And like I said, it's a block of its own. People mm. used to hear like troops marching inside the toilet. Uh, maybe just outside. outside. Yeah, but so they are in the toilet doing their business. Yeah, and then they would hear these uh, the troops marching. Marching! Wow! Yeah. Wow! 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 Well, and that's quite scary, man. If, if, imagine if you like doing your, I'm sorry to say, like like <laughs> your shitty business, ah. Uh. Yeah. I mean, it just, I mean, upon hearing it, right, it would just, it would just double quick time, man. <laughs> or, or you might just go back <laughs> up. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, so that, that's what they used to hear. Um, troops marching mm. right, when they were in the toilet. Wow. And then um, I personally heard this. I can't mm. remember what is it from my dad or was it from my eldest brother. Yeah. Because they used to have statues, I think, just outside the school, if I'm not wrong. I'm trying to, to remember this. Mm. But people have claimed to see these statues crying. What kind of statue? Uh, uh, what kind of statues or monument talking about here? I think angels. Angels. If I'm not oh, wrong. Okay, yeah. Okay, I so see. then they they be crying blood. Blood. And yeah. So the wow. tears would, would be blood. Wow. And and then I think the the most freaky one would be headless priests. Headless priests. Mm. Wow. Yeah, but it's not a priest. It's the brothers. So mm. I I don't know whether that makes sense to you, but mm. let's call them priests. Mm. Yeah. So they will see like these headless entities walking around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Headless priests, wow. That means you can't see their face and you will not know who are they. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So maybe they were beheaded by, by the Japanese. Japanese yeah. yeah, I don't know, man. All I know is that the Japanese, well, they weren't the nicest people. Back then. Uh. Yeah. Mm. But maybe this place uh, reminds you of, reminds us of a value, you know. The suffering that the people have to go through. Yeah. Maybe. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So if you were from SJI and you've had your own encounter or you know of someone that did, please let us know. Please let us know on yeah. our Facebook page. Yeah. We're going to have a post just about SJI so you can leave your comments there. Wow. Mm? I bet there's a lot of ex-students Waiting, 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 waiting to comment on this, man. Yeah, I, I think so, man. Uh, which school do you go to? I go to, uh, man, during my primary years, I went to Bado Primary School. Uh, sorry, Bado View Primary School. Okay. Then I transit to uh, Bartley Secondary School at Jalan Bunga Rampai at Mount Vernon there. Mount Vernon? Yeah. Oh, that, that's a haunted area as well. Yes, man. Yes. It's my, my school is nearby uh, Bidadari Cemetery. Ah, mm. it's just nearby, man. Oh, that famous cemetery. Famous cemetery, and I believe now they, I think HDB covered that area to become a uh, new BTOs, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, my dad used to walk, uh, with Lee Kuan Yew at the Mount Vernon area. Wow. Yeah. What? what? So why is he doing there, man? Uh, LKY used to like going for his walks, and mm. my dad used to accompanying him so 
yeah, uh, my dad used to tell us some stories. You know, I can't really remember them now, but mm. yeah, he, he did tell us that that area of Bidadari that you know used to be really haunted. So you don't people don't go there at night. Yeah, but he, I I have heard stories from people that used to get their lottery numbers from there. Yeah, so apparently what they do like they mm. find one old grave. Yeah. Right, and then they put a PVC pipe. They shove it into the soil mm. uh, where the head is. They shove the, the pipe in, and wow. then they can speak to the ghost directly. Right? Apparently, lah. I don't know how true this that is, is. That is not speaking to the ghost. That is speaking to the dead. Yeah. Right. Am I am I right to say that? Yeah. The dead, the ghost. The dead, yeah. the ghost. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the ghost comes in spirit. The dead is still living, buried, seven feet under. Man. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I heard yeah. this this story not not just from one one person but a few a few sources yeah yeah mm. and then so they're really they're in need of money and you know desperate so, uh, yeah last yeah. resort maybe one of the last few resorts uh would be to to do this lah mm. and then they would shove that PVC pipe in mm -hmm. okay and then they'll speak to the dead do they get the first prize winning I don't number, know man. man I don't know don't know man I don't know. <laughs> but then if you get money like this I'm sure they this thing that gave it to you, right? Mm. Want something in return. What do you think so? Yeah, because it, one is disrespectful, right? You disrespect a person's grave. Yeah. And you do that. So they're not going to give you the number. For free. Just like that, yeah, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah. Mm. So I don't know whether how true this is anyway. I, I won't try. Maybe what I heard also is that if you get this winning number, right? Mm. Some of them, they, they, they sell their soul. Mm. They sell their soul to the spirit. Yeah. In order to get this kind of winning number. So you are literally being handcuffed, man, with them throughout the rest of your life, man. Exactly. Yeah. yeah That's and, what I heard. Yeah. And you mm. don't know whether is it a demonic entity. You think you're talking to that person in the grave. It could be something else. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. And then I've also heard, mm. heard of people going to the Bidadari Cemetery mm. and then they would sell salt. Sell salt yeah so they put salt in like small packets yeah little huh? you know, you know, packs and then mm. they will sell them to because but then they're not supposed to look up because you if you look up then whatever you see is gonna gonna scare you so bad yeah, yeah. that you'll probably pass out or run away wow yeah so but you have to wait for the sun to come up mm. yeah and you I have see. to have enough salt to please everyone so i don't know how much we are Tons. we are looking at Pellets. Yeah. <laughs> so if you leave before that, everything supposed to turn into leaves, if I'm not wrong. Mm. But if you if you wait it out, mm. then yeah, you're gonna have a lot of money. I, I I don't think that's that's legit, but then who knows? Yeah. Yeah, man. We live in a mad world, man. All kind of weird, weird practices, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so yeah, so the schools that you went to again mm. is uh, Bedok View Bedok View Primary School and uh, Bartley Secondary School ah mm. okay did you have any experiences Encounter. yeah um, Bartley Secondary School no Bedok View uh, Primary School so no because I think back then I don't really think about all these entities uh, but what I know from my secondary school days uh, they said that Mount Vernon is really haunted yeah and uh, because my school is nearby a Gurkha camp mm. So, and they say that that very camp also is haunted. Okay. But apparently the Gurkhas, they, are, they, they, they can't be bothered with all these ghost entities. Huh? Mm. I think they are very brave enough, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> they are, man. I, yeah, man. I think when you talk about soldiers or... Uh, Soldier of fortunes. <laughs> <laughs> Scorpions. Uh, no, but what was I going to say? Yeah, they, they are like the elite. Yeah. Like, there's no other... Um, like soldier like them. Yep, correct. Yeah, because these guys are hardcore. And I heard, because I used to have uh, classmates, also Gurkhas, mm -hmm. right? Because their parents are, they, they, their parents are, I mean, on duties in Singapore, right? So they, mm. they, 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 their children will be schooled near, nearby their, their, their home, lah, exactly. Yeah. So I have uh, classmates who are Gurkhas and mm. they, they shared to me that their parents or in fact their fathers, right? will go for a run nearly every night, right? And when we say night, is like midnight onwards. They will go for a run at the Bidadari Cemetery, man. Uh, and okay. for them, it's like normal. Normal. Yeah. Yeah, and because I, I don't think these guys fear much. Yeah, they have, they have nothing to lose, man. Yeah. Mm. I, I think and they, they are trained that way, yeah. Yeah. Mm. They, they 
would die for the country. So mm. everything else, if you are willing to die for your country, I don't think you fear much. You think that brave people don't fear ghosts? I mean, bravery, they, they, I mean, it comes in many forms. Eh? Mm-hmm. People are brave with their words, brave with their actions, brave I mean, when, when, when it comes on the combat field, example like this. Yeah. You think that this kind of bravery uh, doesn't uh, reflect much when they come across on real encounters with ghost entities? Um, I don't know. I, I mean, there's all the different types of fear, right? Yeah. Like, I don't fear ghosts, right? I can be put in the most terrible Situation. situations. But I'm very afraid of cockroaches. <laughs> I've got fear of heights. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'm scared of helium balloons. Actually, any type of, of <laughs> helium. balloon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, balloon. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I have my, my fears and I'm sure mm. everyone does. Like, I don't believe there's any living person that has got no fear. Exactly. Exactly. But when when it comes to like uh, ghostly encounters, mm. Definitely, there's a lot of, I mean, a lot of majority people out there have a certain amount of fear. I won't say that they, they, they don't fear at all. I mean, a certain amount of fear. Yeah. How much do you fear when this kind of things happens right in front of you, man? Exactly. Mm. Some can be controlled, some, some lose control. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Mm. Okay, okay. So, you know, we have got somebody that's going to come on the show. We're going to call her. Wow. And she's mm. going to share with us uh, her. Her, yeah. her paranormal experience when she was in a, in a school mm. in Bedok. Bedok? Yeah. Wow, I would love to hear from her, man. Exactly. Who is she? Well, 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 well <laughs> you'll find out right after this. All right. Yeah. Welcome to Haunted Hour. Hello. Hey, Nadia. Yeah, hi. Oh, you can hear me? Yes, I Yay, can hear you. Great, man. How, <laughs> uh, okay, the, the people watching don't know this, okay, but we did a, a gig earlier today. We're not going to talk too much about the gig, but do you get any sleep? Sorry? Did, did you sleep when you got home or, or have you sleep? Oh, uh, yeah, I did, I did, I did. I did take a nap for like two hours. Ah, okay. I wish I had taken a nap, man. I've been awake ever since. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, Um. okay. I, I need to tell you, I've got somebody else on the line with me. Uh, he's my co-host. His name is Indra. Hey, Nadia. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, in case you, you hear like another person's voice and then you start freaking <laughs> out. Ah, <laughs> oh, no worries, no worries at all. <laughs> okay, so you went to Badok Primary School, right? Yes, correct. Okay, so what paranormal encounter do you have in this school? Okay, uh, apparently uh, at the girls' toilet okay. at Block A. Girls' toilet So block A. Uh, usually, yeah, Block A uh, at the last cubicle. Okay. Yeah, so apparently I, was, I went there alone to pee as per normal. Mm-hmm. So I used the middle cubicle. I know there's no one there. Right. And apparently, I heard someone close the door mm. over at the last cubicle. Wow. So when I come out and check, there's no one. Mm. Yeah. And which then year? also, that was, I think, in 19... Hold on. 1992, <laughs> I guess. 1992, okay. Wow. Yeah. And is this school still around? Close no, down. no more already. Ah, okay. It's closed hmm. down, demolished. Yeah, I and see. made into a new school. Okay, okay. Um, do you know any other stories about this school? Like maybe you heard from one of your, one of your classmates or one of your friends. Do you know any any stories about this school? Well, my classmates did uh, at Block D. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, apparently, uh, I was in the afternoon. They mm. decided because Block D is not accessible for us. We okay. are we are aren't supposed to go there. Why? Yeah. Uh because the thing is that uh there's no one there. No one there, meaning there's yeah, no, te- I mean, there's like, no teachers, no staff. Uh. Not available. Yeah, uh, no teachers there. Oh no so, teachers, no classes there. Okay, so the entire school, right? Nobody used block D. 
block D. B. D for Denmark. Ah, okay. Hmm. So no nobody used it, right? Yeah. Hmm, that's strange. No, nobody. Hmm. So what happened was that my friend was uh, going around checking out the place and he heard the classroom door close. Okay. Wow. And there's no wind. Hmm. There's no wind at all. Yeah, like, and then he was like, oh no, oh no. Probably it might be the cleaner. Could be. Ah, no. There's no, no. There, there's no one there. No one there at no, all? No, no one there. No one. Not even the cleaner as well. Wow. Uh, did anybody ever see anything though? See, I'm not so sure, but they saw like those black apparatus. Okay. Yeah, so I'm hmm. um, like, oh, where, where, where? Black as a- usual, me as a youngster, mm-hmm. too young, so I, I'm like asking around, do you see any black shadows or anything? Say, oh yeah, at Block C. Okay. Block It's just a small uh, five-story building, mm-hmm. and nobody uses the fifth story. Okay. Wow. And we, I actually like try to go there, lah. Right. Um. From my experience, yeah. Uh, black apparitions, right, are usually evil entities. Yeah. So, so they can do quite a bit of harm. So, if you see like black shadows, yeah, I think those are the ones you need to be a little careful of. Hmm. Ah, yeah. What kind of harm okay, they okay. they can inflict, man? Um, usually they 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 inflict fear. Um, mm. yeah, they can follow you home. They can yeah, they can just mess around with that common in your house. Can a person be possessed by that kind of black entity? I'm sure. Yeah, wow. I'm pretty sure. Wow. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, okay. I didn't mm. know that. Mm. Um, th- is there anything else you experience in the school? By the way, Nadia, I just want to. Mm-hmm. Sorry Nadia, I to interrupt you. Yeah. I just want to say something. Uh, I was from yeah. Bedok View Primary School. A school Ooh, near a, a school nearby you, okay? <laughs> and, yeah, 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 yeah. And one thing I want to highlight or maybe ask you, do you know about Dog City mm. or not? Dog City, of course. Yes. It's a good it's a good place. That that place is like there's a lot of dogs though. Yeah, I I I think I think that place is haunted. Dog City. I think that place is haunted. Yeah. Okay, maybe you want to. That, that place, that place is haunted. Yeah, maybe you want to share with Noel about Dog City, that it, which is nearby her school, by the way. Okay, Dog yeah. City. You guys need to tell me more about it because when <laughs> when you said that earlier, I thought it's D O C like a, a, a Doctor City, but it's dog. Dog. Yes. <laughs> okay. Mm. It's like woo woo. Yeah. <laughs> The okay, <laughs> so so what about these dogs? Like, why is it called Dog City? Okay, apparently when you went through this do- uh, this lane, there's a lot of dogs. Mm-hmm. That's it. But but surrounding it, okay, there's uh some kind of a jungle, I guess. Alright. Mm. A, a small forest, lah. Small forest, lah. Mm. Small forest mm. in Bedok. So when you okay. when you go through that forest, when you go, you will go through Dog City first. Then you go through this one small uh, longkang. Yes, correct. Okay, I, I, small longkang, and you yeah that 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 longkang is through the forest lah. Then then finally we we'll reach to your school right, Bedok Bedok Primary. Yes, mm. correct. I I come to know about Dog City from mm. my friend who used to be in Bedok Primary, and Ooh. my first experience there. Seriously, seriously, I think I pee in my pants, bro. Seriously, hmm. <laughs> please tell us more. You gotta tell us more. Okay, man. my experience there, Dog City. I went on the back alley because there, 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 there's a linear kind of formation right. for private houses. So uh, there's a front front gate and the back gate, right? So this correct, correct. So the back gate, right? That's where the you you will pass through an alley, yeah, okay. where is uh, the back gate of every houses and the long car. So that means you have nowhere to All go. Right. No. So once you enter from that that alley, the only exit will be the the primary school. Right. So that's why they call it Dog City. Say who? I mean, last time we have this uh, challenge. If you are brave enough, you are you are you are like man enough or may boy enough, right? You will pass through Dog City alive. Because why? Yeah. That place is really haunted. When we go through there like at night or go through there like during the day, once the dog bark right. The whole lane of the dog will, bark. and I won't. I won't say that small dog, no. Like small dog will be like big dog, German Shepherd, 
Oh my god, man, it's really scary, lah. <laughs> okay. Serious, serious. <laughs> the reason why I'm laughing <laughs> because I'm a very visual person, right? Yeah. And my imagination is mad. So I was thinking of a city, right? Like. You know, like um, we have a shopping mall run by dogs, <laughs> <laughs> and then you got you got a uh, McDonald's and there's like dogs on the counter. Oh my goodness! That, that okay. is that's like Hollywood, really, bro. This one is really. Yeah. And by the way, if you go there at night, uh-huh. it's really dark. It's really dark and so creepy. That's why they call it Dog City, and that's why they say that some say that place haunted. Right, because it's nearby this longkang, very big longkang, and this longkang some sort like mm. you can feel the creeps while you are walking through it. I mean, yeah lah. Correct. correct me, correct me if I'm wrong, Nadia. Yeah. Hmm. Um, it, it's, it's all true, though. It's all true. It's all true. Yeah. Is this alley still around? It is, bro. Where? Got? Uh, is that Tanah Merah? It is. It is. I I don't know the east. Well enough. <laughs> I think it's it's Tanah Merah, right? The the place is called like, Tanah yeah, it's Merah. Tanah Merah, it's somewhere in uh, Tanah Merah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, you guys think that this uh, <laughs> dog city, <laughs> what a uh-huh. fancy name, uh, is haunted? Mm. And then we know that Bedok Primary School is is haunted, but it's no longer there, right? Uh, no, no Bedok longer there. But 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 now, mm. but now over at uh, the new school, right? Mm. It only left the block D gate. That's it. Huh. You can only see block D gate. That's it. Okay. Just the gate by itself. Right. Yeah, right. and it's even though there's a gate, but it's super creepy though. Hmm. Because it's just the gate. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, also there's uh, over at Bedok Primary, over at Block A, there's this one big tree that we are not supposed to actually like play around there. But we actually play around there. Why? Why are you so, not supposed to play of, around there? Because uh, something is there. Something? Like kakak lah. Okay. Kakak. <laughs> kakak locker, you know. I, 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 uh, okay, I, I know you don't want to say the word, so I will say the word for yeah. you. Uh, because okay. there will be people that are watching or listening now who have no idea what this... Uh, kakak means. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, Pontiana. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, so the rumor was that the Pontiana is around the area. Yes, at the right. tree. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because because one thing I uh, one thing I realize about Bedok Primary, right? Mm-hmm. Bedok Primary, when if you if you have man now no more chance to, for us to witness what is Bedok Primary is all about. If you have a chance to see the photos, right? Bedok Primary is not like not like any other uh, schools because. Some schools in Singapore like that. There, there's multi stories, mm. but Bedok Primary is like one level. Am I right to yeah, say that? Yeah, one level. Yeah, all is one level. Correct. It's just one level. So right. it's one level it's, except for one building. Yes. One and, or two buildings. Yeah. And it's like in a very big space, bro. Big space. I I think it's like like the size of a like like the size of like an ITE or maybe the size of a a a, 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 a polytechnic maybe. Okay. Yeah, that kind of size. You see. And Be- uh, because Bedok Primary, mm. okay, is uh is being combined by three schools actually. Mm. Okay. Mm. So it's Bedok Boys, Bedok Girls, and Bedok Primary. Mm. I so see. they combine it together and become Bedok Primary. I see. I see. And you can really feel like like kampung like. Mm. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, they... yeah, yeah. It's very kampung. Yeah, very kampung like. Huh. So yeah. Oh, that's nice. You would definitely love it, lah, bro. Seriously. Why? Because it it it. it It really feels like you know, like you are bring you are, you are bring bringing back yourself to nature because they are, they, huh. they are surrounded by by like like Nadia said, uh, jungle, I mean forest, you know, mm. and then uh, within the schools, they have pond, big ponds. Yeah, I mean it feels so yeah. right. Yeah. Mm, okay. Am I right to say that, Nadia? Correct, right, right. Yeah. It's like really kampung style. Mm. I think now primary school is like so. Upgraded already. I think yeah. due, due to the atmosphere, right? That's why the people can see some entities there. Yeah, exactly. Yes, Big trees, yes. that kind of ambience, that kind of uh, yeah. I mean, I'm 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 just saying out of my experience only lah. Okay. Mm. Um, and then after primary school, did you experience anything like maybe in secondary school? Oh yeah, in secondary school I was in Bedok South uh, Secondary School. Okay. Uh, yeah, just opposite uh, Bedok uh, Bedok Stadium. Ah, okay. At least I know where Bedok Stadium is. 
Yeah. Kudos to you, man. <laughs> okay, so uh, what do you Bedok South Secondary School? Am I right? Yes. Okay. Correct. So, so what happened there? Okay. Uh, there are two dogs. Okay. Mm. So one is a technical block. One is a, a computer block. Mm-hmm. And also the other one is the main building. Okay. Mm. Okay. So apparently we don't go to the technical block too much. Okay. Okay. Because of the toilet, I don't understand why school needs to be with the toilet. Hmm. So, uh, even the computer question is the laboratory, la, laboratory building with the computers uh, on the fourth floor. Okay. The guy toilet. Yeah, apparently I saw some guys running out right. and screaming. Mm. Yeah, the guys, the guy, I'm like, I'm like shocked. So I'm like, oh, why are they screaming about? Apparently they heard someone was like, Uh, whispering to them, get out. Wow. Move away. Yeah, something like that. Mm. Yeah. Okay. What kind uh, of, what, also, sorry. the main building, what kind of whisper main building they, is they, they on they the hear. second floor. Get out. Get out. Yeah. Wow. Uh, And th- I is... did a camp over there. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, we were like shocked that the toilet wasn't supposed to have any light. But on the fourth floor of the laboratory building, it's on. Mm. Yeah. And we are not supposed to be walking around. We are only using the main building. That's the thing. Ah, okay. But do you think maybe it could have been a teacher that have that turned on the lights? No. Uh, because the thing is that we are not supposed to be using that building. Mm. Okay. Mm. What's up with schools, ah, uh, and not allowing you to use a, no. a certain block? What's up with schools with abandoned buildings, man? Yeah. What's up with that, man? Man, if you want to I leave it know. abandoned for a very long time, I should demolish it, right? Yeah, because if, if if like I know ghosts like schools a lot because there's a lot of energy because they feed off energy, right? Mm-hmm. So they yes. they love being in schools, and then if you have got a classroom or a building that isn't in use, mm-hmm. yeah, that's where they will want to stay. Mm. Yeah, so then they have, they yeah, have a place yeah. to stay, and then in the daytime they 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 just feed off energy. Yeah, I see, and, and it's quite pure, right? You know, like students, like the youngsters, they they are pure compared to adults, right? No wonder, no wonder they like to pray for the young. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh, huh, Nadia. I mean, I'm serious about it, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so I can be gold, though. You, you can what? I can be a ghost, though. <laughs> yes, you can. You, boy, boy knows my laughter very well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's this Mediacorp series that mm. that I'm involved in, right? Yeah. And then so we we're not going to give any spoilers, but uh, we did one shoot where she was the Pontiana. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so that's all we're gonna talk about it, right? Because that that's gonna come out in March next year. Multi-talented, uh, eh? yeah. Okay, so so anything else you experience in in this school? Uh, I was doing camp, and mm. all of us heard uh, marching, marching at the quadrangle. Yeah, mm. and we look out and we saw nothing. Oh wow! Mm. Yeah, we are like, uh, oh, what the hell is that? And we just go inside back and. <laughs> Don't mind me asking, what kind of uh, troops are marching? <laughs> I, Japanese troops? I have no idea. It could hmm? be, man. Huh? I think, I think it's Japanese troops. Uh. Wow. Yeah. It's Japanese troops because we heard some kind of uh, different language, that kind of thing. Oh, that's interesting. Foreign yeah. language, lah. A foreign language, lah. Mm. Huh. It's not English, though. So we are like, uh, what the hell? <laughs> Yeah, but it could be. Oh, yeah, you will understand Malay. You And think English? It, yeah, it could be <laughs> British. Like, yeah, British soldiers. English yeah. soldiers. Yeah. Like, definitely, they will use English language. Yeah, we also had um, uh, the Indian regiment here. So I, I don't know. Yeah, it could be the Japanese. A lot of things we we don't know, right? Yeah. About yeah. the war, like whether anybody was killed there because of war crimes or you know. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I I want to do my homework now, man, about these two schools. Wow! Like what I was? Think, th- uh, I think it's because uh, Bedo used to be kampung. Mm. Yeah. And used to be near the sea. That's why. 
Hmm. Okay. Mm. Uh, what does that have got to do with anything like being near the sea? Japanese love to kill it near the sea. Yes, that they is kill. true. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they do that, uh, bro. Yeah, the the Sukching uh, Mexico. Yeah, they brought a lot of Chinese to different parts of Singapore. Mm. Uh, uh, and it was usually by the beach. So you have Punggol, you you got you got Changi, wow. right? Where where they kill. No wonder our beach are uh, haunted, ah. Uh. Oh yeah, Some, man. Somewhere or another, sure. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything else you like to share? Ah, uh, other than my school. I think like two years ago, I was in USS. Mm-hmm. Uh, the uh, the Halloween Horror Night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and apparently, I was in this one house, which I cannot say. <laughs> They'd be like, oh no, not that house. Um, apparently, uh, a friend of mine was walking through that house. Okay. And he saw someone under the sofa. Whereas, then he asked me, is there anybody going under the sofa? I said, no. There's nobody. That is, it's impossible. I say there's no one under the sofa. We are all outside. You know, I saw someone over there, so under the sofa. I'm like, oh no. Mm. Then, uh, even the characters was being scared. Yeah, we saw, we saw Pochong. Wow. Yeah, we saw Pochong. Then after that, apparently the security was asking us. Uh, one point of time, the security was asking us, "Hey, uh, who's there over at the at the house?" I said, "No, nobody. Everybody is here." Then who the hell I saw? I'm like, "No, no, 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 no. There's no one there. There's no one there." Right. They are like, "Oh no." Mm-hmm. Okay, I have to ask you this: Were you there as mm-hmm. as um? Somebody like you know, how do I put this? Okay, were you an actor, a scare actor, or were you there as a, yeah, a pain one, customer? Yeah, I'm one of the scare actors. I'm one of the ah, scare actors. Mm. Okay, this makes sense now because you guys are pretending to be ghosts, and yeah. if there are real ghosts there. Then they would probably want to show you what's the real deal. Yeah, yeah. what's the real deal? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pada muka. Correct. You get paid. I don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but as what or as what one of oh, my friends say, I'm a girl. Yeah, I'm a girl. Huh? Hey, thanks for for sharing that with us, man. Huh. Who is who is? Awesome stuff. Yeah, man. And also, I I also kenal lah. I thought my my duplicate was like okay. Hey, uh, you know, uh, I think in in ten minutes time it's my turn, you know. Then that okay. Then he, she's like. Uh, like how how do I put it? Just not the head. I'm mm. like okay, fine. So I went out. Then I saw my duplicate. Say, eh, hey, I thought you inside. Yeah. Then she's like, no. I went to the toilet for a while. I'm like, no way. So when I went back to my room, and I'm, I'm like, damn, there's no one. Huh. Yeah. Wow. But is it maybe because you see your duplicate? In the dark, so maybe you don't really realize the face of your duplicate. <laughs> Because it's dark. The, the point is that it's yeah. dark, yeah. so we cannot see each other. So I just like talk to her. I just tap her, you know. I can still tap her some more. So so when I'm you like, tap her, hey, thank you, fine, thank you, fine. So when you tap her, what kind of thank like you, texture fine. you feel? I'm like, it's like rough though. No rough. And it's wet, and it's rough and wet. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. I think that that thing wants to show itself to me, lah. Yeah, hmm. I I think so. Rough and wet. And then you said that you saw a pochong. Yeah. Apparently, we uh a few of the skeletons saw a pochong. Okay. And oh. we thought that uh that pochong was supposed to be somewhere else. Somewhere else, as in yeah. th- there there was a sky actor dressed as a pochong yeah, as well. There, there was only one sky actor doing the pochong. Right. Hmm. But we saw another one. The real dealer. A real dealer. <laughs> okay. Then we are like, what the hell? Then after everything is like, hey, how come you are over there? You are supposed to be there, what? They say no, I was there. Hmm. I'm like, oh shit. We are like, 
นุ่มวิมิสไลด์นะทั้งวันว้าวบัสเซนตุสิสนุ่นฟอร์ฟอร์ฟอร์ทูบีฮอนเตอร์ไรท์บรู I I I'm not going to talk about Sentosa. I, I don't want to get into trouble. <laughs> I love I love going to Sentosa too much, man. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, I would not go there. No, 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 no. Man, for once that uh, that place was known to be Pulau Belakang Mati, man. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> The name itself, man. Uh, if we translate to English, that means an island where men are killed from mm-hmm. the back. Right. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's the literal t- translation. Uh, I would say. Yeah, mm. that's true. Okay, let's not talk about Sentosa no, no, no. anymore. <laughs> They got a lot of money, yo. No lah, man. This is history, man. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Yeah, she mentioned like USS, and then USS yeah. is owned by RWS, which is Gunting. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay, but but yeah. So we spoken about USS. We spoken about Bedok Primary School, and then. Uh, Bedok South Secondary School, am yes, I right? Yes, correct. Yeah, yes. wow, we covered quite correct. a bit. Correct. Mm. Okay. Uh, there's one more over at IT Clementi. IT Clementi. Wow. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, IT Clementi. We have a rock wall. Uh huh. Yeah. So uh, we are having some kind of uh, how do I put it? Uh, training. Ah. Uh. Mm. Rock, rock climbing is it? And yeah, rock climbing. Mm. I was in the adventure club. Right. And apparently, uh, when we go inside the hall, and we are like looking up, and we're like, "Damn, what the hell is that?" We saw some white wow. thing. Hmm. And I'm like, "Damn, no, no." And how did this white thing look like? Like. Can you describe? Ah, uh, okay lah. Just say, just say the name ah. Uh, ah, uh, Pontiana. Right. Okay. Finally, you said the word. Okay. So, <laughs> so it resembled a Pontiana. It was right at the, at the top. Yeah, it was right at the top, and I'm supposed to go up. I'm like digging shit. Hmm. Did you conquer your fear and and reach the top, or you gave up? I I come to my fear. I wish it all, and I saw nothing. Nice. Okay. Wow. Good. 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 Because if if you didn't write, then I think um, maybe something bad could have happened after that. Maybe like bad dreams. Do you have any dreams after that? Uh, no. Apparently, uh, that thing for that the the kakak just follow me home lah. That's it. Uh, it followed you home. Yeah, it followed me home. Oh. Wow. Uh, and how do you know it followed you home? Uh, because I can sense it. Uh, I can sense. I can see. Okay. Mm. And did it follow you into your house or did it stay outside? Ah uh, no, it was just outside. Ah uh, good. Okay. You cannot go in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And, and then what happened after that? Like, was it there after for that, a few days? Uh, apparently, my one. Uh, my mom got sick. Mm. So I'm having a high fever for a week. Oh man. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So you're quite sure, right? It's like it was the Pontiana. Yes. <sighs> okay. That's all we need to know, man. Wow. Do you think that when you climb and uh, 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 yeah. maybe before you reach to the to the top, right? The the yeah. whatever entity that that is disturbing you that time. You mean you claim it to be Pontiana, yeah. right? You think that mm. the entity want you to like fall to your death, maybe? I have no idea, though. I think she want she wants to communicate with me. Mm. But you you are climbing you are climbing that that, <laughs> that yeah I'm yeah. climbing though yeah I, I, I'm trying to imagine during at that moment also while I'm climbing mm. I'm trying to imagine that she's just right beside me yeah. But we should be. It doesn't happen, lah. Wow. Because I know that they they love to um to scare people mm. because they feed on that fear, yeah. and so they know who they they can they can bully, right? In, in a way, it's it's exactly that. Uh, and and correct, then they correct. feed on that fear, and then uh, they can do a lot more harmful things. But then mm. for you, you didn't show fear. You you reached the top, which is amazing because yeah. most people. Wouldn't right? They were just panning and and break down. Yeah, yeah. That means you're brave, Nadia. Wow. 
I have to be you brave, go, girl. though. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, awesome stuff. Okay, uh, I think we're running out of time for uh, this interview, but you know, yeah, sure, sure. yeah, we like to thank you for being on Haunted Hour. Really, thank you so much, Nadia. All right, thank you. Hey, okay, thank we, you, Nadia. We speak soon, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, okay bye. Bye. Thank you so much for talking with us, Nadia. Next up, we have my wife, and she's gonna do paranormal popcorn. Hey guys, it's me, Gabby, and today for Paranormal Popcorn, I'm going to be talking about the movie Veronica. Now, Veronica was released in 2017, and the rating is NC-16. Now, I know what you must be thinking. When you see a movie that's NC-16, you're like, oh, it's probably not that scary. I think I can manage it. But let me tell you, this movie is based on real events. And I don't know about you, but every time when I see that a movie is based on real events, I know that it's going to be good. And Veronica is one of those films. So it's set in 1991 about this girl, Veronica. And she plays with an, a Ouija board. Is it an Ouija or a Ouija? Or plays with a Ouija board with some of her classmates at school. Bad idea. Bad idea. And the movie obviously just follows what happens to her after, right? Now, like, just talking about the genre of horror in itself, my personal favourites have always been, like, Thai, Japanese. I mean... Movies like The Ring and Shutter, they've always been very, like, scary, right? I mean, terrifying, if you, to say the least. But when you talk about Spanish movies, I think they do horror quite well as well. I don't know if some of you have heard of this movie called REC. Highly recommend it. It's probably in my top 10 horror films of, like, of all time. So the director of REC also did Veronica. His name is Paco Plaza. So check out REC and check out Veronica as well. And the lady, or the girl that plays... Veronica in this film, her name is Sandra Escasina. I really hope I pronounced that right. Sandra Escasina. She made her film debut in Veronica. So to make a debut playing that kind of role, I think it's quite remarkable because it's not easy to show a person that's going through the journey that she does, right? And I think she does an amazing job because from the very beginning, I kind of like felt emotionally invested in her character. And I think all of us can relate to how it was when we were teenagers. I mean, some of you watching might still be in your teenage phase so we know what it's like to not have people believe in us or to feel very alone and like the whole weight of the world's on our shoulders i don't want to give away too much because i want you guys to watch the film so go check it out and uh the real person that this movie is based on her name is estefania i also hope i pronounced that right estefania she went through a really bad time after she played with this ouija board right six months the six months that followed she would have like seizures and hallucinations. She'd go into like this rage and like get angry with her brothers. And I think there's more than, than teenage angst. Like, it's quite quite intense. She even told her parents that she would see evil shadows walking past her room at night. Ooh. I mean, I don't know about you. If my daughter told me that, I would definitely freak out. So, you know, in, in real life, her parents were clearly worried and they brought her to see a bunch of doctors, but none of them could determine, like, what was wrong with her. So that in itself is really quite scary, to be honest. If, if my daughter told me she saw a shadow at night, I'd just be like, okay, we're moving. So, yeah. But with this film, it's it's quite difficult to determine what's factual and what's fiction. I, mean, I think that's the beauty of it because it, it leaves a lot to your imagination and you're not really sure what what you're watching is like, did this really happen? Or is it the director just having a go at it? You know, but the entertainment value is definitely there. There's no like over the top scares. It's very nice and subtle and and easy to watch, I would say, in, in as much as horror can be easy to watch. But I highly recommend it. It's, uh, it's on Netflix if you want to watch it. And just one thing to remember, guys, don't mess with Ouija boards. I'll see you guys next time. So bro, have you watched this awesome movie that my wife just reviewed to be honest not yet man you should you should man tell me more about it man um <laughs> i mean i i, I we, we just listened to your wife uh -huh. point of view i want to know your point of view for this movie man. my point of view is that my wife is always right <laughs> <laughs> i think nobody just trying to be very diplomatic <laughs> <laughs> no but but it's a really good movie i i think uh the setting is good mm. Um, the storyline is amazing. Mm -mm. It's on Netflix, so that's a bonus because you don't have to search for it online, right? Yep. If correct. you've got a Netflix account, that's amazing. Mm. Um, yeah. So it's the 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 entire feel. Yeah, I I remember, like I love horror movies where my heart beats very fast. Yeah. 
right at certain points mm-hmm. and I, I think they got a spot on yeah mm-hmm. I'm my wife told me that I cannot talk too much about this movie because I give away spoilers all the time but this is an old movie right yeah it's okay but then people like you that have not watched it yeah please don't yeah I'm very prone to giving spoilers so oh. I will not <laughs> I will not talk about this movie <laughs> I will not tell you what it is about yeah but uh, yeah it's 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 if you love horror, yeah. then you must watch this. Wow. Nice. Wow. Yeah. I think your wife really know how to express movie. Movies. Mm. I will use the plural form, movies. Because uh, knowing, I mean, I, I, I've seen her work I mean, not, from just now, from the video uh, that we shown just now. And also uh, her works from previous episode. She, I mean, she have this, uh, she have this energy when expressing her thoughts or movies yeah she loves movies mm. man why is that so do, 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 do you find her energy is like quite inspiring yeah, yeah. I, I mean movie trivia like i i know very i don't know anyone mm. that can that that's better than her because she exactly. knows everything that there is to know in great detail man yeah so if we were to watch something online or mm. um on netflix yeah she will be on her phone as well reading up about fun facts about the movie oh, yeah. it's multitasking man exactly <laughs> women do that very well yeah yeah not, not us huh? I, I kind of just get distracted and then forget about the movie <laughs> nice nice man nice yeah so guys please watch it all right uh i i'm pretty sure you will enjoy it we're gonna move on to a uh q a uh, yeah. segment right so because this is pre-recorded so we mm. got the questions here when it's live obviously you get to ask in real time mm. i've got a question here from imran shah and your question is how did you start ghost hunting, hunting. Wow. it was by chance mm. i was asked to host a segment uh this was for some halloween event something like that it was at the old cantonment police station so I was just supposed to appear on camera just to plug the, uh, the 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 concept, and you know they were charging people money to to take a tour at night, and then Singapore Paran- Paranormal Investigators SPI they were there, and then the producer for this for this um, thingy, you know, he asked me if I would want to be in the padded cell. So the padded cell was for the most notorious criminals wow yeah he said oh no you just been there for 10 minutes spi agreed to it so i you know with my ego and all the way it is <laughs> i say yeah sure i'll do it but uh, i was very scared of ghosts <laughs> was there to lose right <laughs> oh, there was a lot to lose trust me so i i went in mm. and i s- sat in the cell mm. and then i could feel things touching me wow yeah Mm. Uh, because I was in there for like 10 minutes and mm. then nothing much was happening. And then I decided to light a cigarette mm. and then things started touching me. So I felt being poked. Wow. I felt stuff like rubbing my face, like wow. stroking my face. And then it turns out I was in there for 45 minutes. That's quite a long yeah. time, man. Wow. Wow. But the adrenaline was amazing and then my heart was pumping and then I came out feeling really good. Wow. And then, yeah, that, that's how I started. And uh, I did it's, it's as if like you have been baptized inside. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. <laughs> I meant to say that. No? Yeah. And then it started this whole amazing journey like 13, 14 years later. Yeah. You feel Here like I you're am. reborn, man. Reborn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, before that, I was doing a, where, where is it? Yeah, I was doing a show called Skin Art, you uh-huh. know, and uh, that's about tattoos. I had fun doing that. Mm-hmm. But, then it led me to being on camera again and then mm. doing uh, my paranormal stuff. Wow. Yeah. Well, that that lead us now, man. Yeah. 13 haunted, years haunted later. Hour, man. 13 years later. <laughs> Thanks to that, we have haunted hour, <laughs> man. <now>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So, Imran, I hope that answers your question. Mm. Next one is from Vijaya Kumar. Mm. What kind of protection is the best? What kind of protection that he's referring here to? Protection from uh, life, protection from ghost entities, probably ghost entities. Uh. Yeah, I was like, the first thing that came to mind was uh, Durex. <laughs> <laughs> Triple layer, man. Don't forget. Um, what kind of protection is the best? Mm. 
Mm. No, no, no. But I feel that the best protection ever is here, because in the you, heart. Yeah, no, mm. you, yeah. If you got a good heart, mm. um, nothing can harm you. Like you just do good, you practice good. You know, so uh, yeah. If you are pure here, mm. then evil forces can't can't hit you. Yeah, mm. but if you're gonna have Evil thoughts every day, or you're gonna wake up negative. Then yeah, you're just gonna live a, a very demoralizing life. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Correct. Yeah, so that's my my answer. But you know, I I do know that a lot of amulets in the market. There's mm. so many things, man. But yeah, I I I don't I don't carry anything. Mm. Yeah, man. Do Do you think protection only comes in the forms of physical? Or should we also prepare ourselves spiritually for any kind of protection? Well, it depends, right? Yeah. If a person has a religion, if you do, then yeah. of course you, it's always good to practice it because mm. that gives you confidence as well. It gives yeah. you a sense of peace, mm. which is important. Yeah, true. Mm. I think spiritual uh, aspect also is very important. And then uh, for those who love to meditate, I think that also applies here. Mm. I think that. Probably, probably, probably answer Vijaya Kumar's uh, question. Yeah, mm-hmm. I I would definitely advise people to meditate. Like, yeah, yeah, because meditation, you know, meditation doesn't have to revolve around a religion. Yeah, it's all about focus. So if you don't have a religion or mm-hmm. you have a religion, but you don't, if you think that meditation is part of Hinduism or Buddhism, is so much true, to associate yourself with that. Yeah, I think you can separate it. On a yeah separate basis lah. Yeah, and mm. it help you find inner peace. Yeah, you know, um, and and it's just something so good for you. Like I meditate. I try to to. Do How it. long? How long do you think is enough to meditate per day? Hmm, half an hour at least. Mm. Yeah, that's really when you have alone time. No distractions in the world ever. No mobile phones. No no TV. Mm. Nothing. Right. It's just you, and just you alone. And your thoughts. Yeah, but mm. you're not supposed to have thoughts. Oh. Yeah. You clear, have to clear your thoughts. You just clear your mind. Mm. Focus now. So usually you focus here. I see. You just, I see. Just yeah. You just focus on 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 this part of your your forehead, mm. and then you just relax. Wow. Yeah. I think that really answer uh, Vijaya Kumar's uh, question. Eh? Yeah, I, I hope Nicely so. Nicely put that. Yeah. Uh next one, mm. Dennis Sung. Mm. Is it true that? Putting dog ears, a eh, dog ears, dog tears in my eyes, I can see ghosts. Wow. Uh, I've heard of this before. I think it's gross, <laughs> right? Why would you want to do that, man? I, <laughs> and and how do you get these tears from a dog? I I don't know. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I heard a bit of beat. <laughs> I thought it was on a different show. Um, yeah, I I don't know. Mm. Uh, I. It's not something that science can prove anyway, so I would suggest you don't do it. I mean, yeah, just don't, just don't put anything in your eyes. Is it is it a uh, very acidic for a dog tears to be to be touched on your eyes? I'm not a vet. I I wouldn't know. Oh this. no no eh? yeah. I mean, <laughs> I I thought we have like a common uh, common understanding on this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I wouldn't. No, I don't think tears contain acid, right? I don't, I don't think know. so. Alkaline like base, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I would think so. And also, I think hygiene. Hygiene, yeah. Yeah. Can you agree on on, on that? Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Hygiene. Yeah. Definitely. Man, I think it's just a it's just a myth out there. You think it's just another myth that is yet to be proven? Yeah, I think somebody created this myth and then tried to dare his friend to do it, and then <laughs> his fellow dared somebody else, and then finally one person did it, and then. Mm. Probably didn't see anything or get blind or had dog <laughs> dog flu or something. Yeah, I don't know, man. I I I wouldn't do it. Like you give me a lot of money. Yeah, but that I mean that that there's some sources out there who also man, man have a similar kind of approach like this. Man, you put you put some uh, like but but some not dog tears lah. Some refer to blood from a from an animal, right? I I'm I'm not so sure what kind of animal, but what I know it has to be a reptile. Right. And then from that blood itself, now you just wipe it, or swipe it on your eyes, and you can see ghosts. Or you, I mean, you have a third eye. I mean, you are like being gifted with a third eye. I think this also yet to be proven, bro. Yeah, I'm, similar to this. Ah, I mean, that's how like <clears throat> viruses start, right? For all we know, some idiot 
you know that's how COVID started because some <laughs> idiot put like some the blood of some animal on the bloody <laughs> eyes I don't know blood is worse <laughs> than tears man yeah, yeah obviously blood is worse than tears yeah, yeah. Right, no? it, it, it involve uh, or evolve uh, DNA man yeah I yeah. mean okay so my, my thought process is why would anyone want to do this to see ghosts why would you want to see ghosts in the so first much. place mm, yeah true Go back to the intention actually. Because there's so many of us that see ghosts that don't want to see ghosts. Yeah, true. You know? Mm. Um, yeah, it's it's not the kind of gift that you want. Yeah. I, I I don't see the point. Like, what's the point? Unless if you have a very strong heart. Nah. And? And uh, you have a good protection. Go back to the second question. You have good protection. You have a strong heart. Probably you you want to see these entities. Probably, mm. probably. Maybe in some some people out there are so brave enough yeah. to, do, to do this. Maybe, maybe. I I don't know, man. <laughs> Everyone has their, their yeah, own I mean, thoughts. And hopefully this, uh, I mean, this answer, so, I mean, not say really answer his question, but yeah, yeah la, maybe it's a, it's a form of a discussion here. Yeah. Mm. I always feel that if you really want to know whether something is real or, or not, mm. you have to try it for yourself. I think it's all based down on faith. Mm-hmm. If you are fated to see, you are fated to see, man. Yeah. And there's a reason why you are seeing all this. Exactly. If you are fated not to see, then I think there's a reason also, a very, very hidden wisdom behind it, why you are unable to see. Mm-hmm. Am I yep. right to say that? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's go back to, I mean, I mean, this for some people's belief. La. Yeah. I mean, if you are fated to see, I mean, there's a reason why you 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 can see. And on, the only re- the, the reason the reason you, only you yourself know why you are able to see, for yeah. there's a there's a you must soul search a bit lah. I agree. Part, yeah. I agree. Mm. Okay, so that was my answer and and Indra's um, answer as well to mm. Dennis Sung. <laughs> right, guys, we are on Patreon. Right, yeah. uh, Patreon is amazing because it's our own little online community that you can uh, support us. It's Yeah, it's very affordable and uh, just support our work and when you do leave a comment on YouTube your your comments or your questions are going to be in bold yeah so we know that it's you and then we give you priority mm. to questions and also we will reply to your comments as best as we can yep okay so that's about it right yeah man uh, it's a it's, it's, it's a pretty good episode man Yeah, it's a pretty good episode, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We talk about schools, right? And ghosts in schools, yeah. and yeah. And then now you probably think about maybe kids who are watching or listening to this, and mm. they go like, "Oh no, I got to go to school, <laughs> like on Monday." Oh no, I yeah. got to go to school. But now it's a uh, school holidays. School holidays, and yeah. all the ghosts are having happy hour. Oh, they are feeling very lonely. <laughs> <laughs> all their friends are gone. But then you got to go back to school at mm, some point, and yeah, then. true. But uh, I mean, for for our viewers and our listeners, uh, I think mm-hmm. they 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 can post any question to us. Ah, uh. I mean, looking at the question like, from your Q and A's, ah, I think they love to post all kind of question. Uh. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So probably, yeah, I mean, let them let them express themselves, man. Mm? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Express yourself. It's really okay to be different yeah right and if you see ghosts or you hear them or you feel them it's perfectly fine welcome to the club and please do not forget to share with us man yeah, your you... experience <laughs> <laughs> okay so <laughs> follow me on instagram you can also like the gfs facebook page that's where we post all our content and we're also gonna have a contest next week mm, wow can't wait man can't wait Yeah, can't wait. Yeah, I don't know what the contest is yet. The producers will let me know. <laughs> but yeah, we will. Yeah, we definitely have a contest next week with yeah. an amazing prize. Yeah. Okay, so Indra. Yep. Anything else you like to say before we sign off? Nothing else, man. Do not forget to say hi with any ghost that you come and uh, come encounter with. Yes. Say hi first. Say be, hi first. Be friendly. Be friendly with them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just be nice, people. Yeah. With ghosts, with human beings, with animals, yeah. with the environment, just be nice yeah. because nice people go further in life. Yeah. That's what I think. True. Yeah. That's my that's my core beliefs. Yeah, my core beliefs. All right, I'm going to rush home to my wife. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay, so we'll see you next week. Yeah, see you, man. Bye.
拜拜。